great ball and he's in here. Chance! It's in! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this. Well, they say football's only a game, but you should try telling this lot. Without a doubt, it is the week's most eagerly awaited contest and sporting event, which has magnificent scenery as its backdrop. It is tribal and it has aroused the most primal of instincts in so many of us. And we are glad to have you alongside us for it. It's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Oh, shooting chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Vinicius Junior. And the counter is on. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Great ball and he's in here. Chance! It's in! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck wood. And he looks hungry for more. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. I doubt very much that this was in the script. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Well, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. Vinicius Junior doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Casemiro. He's shifting through the gears here. Gets his pass away. A well cut out. No margin for error there at all. Very neat. Now, who's going to be first to this? Pull past that, sloppy. Vinicius Junior, centre crossfield. Good read, needed to be. Sergio Ramos. Mbappe. Now it's De Bruyne. Mbappe. Showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Well, they can break here. That's a stern challenge. He will go no further. Oh, good read. Now it's Kostic. He's got away. Oh, he had to make that, and he did make it. And he's heaved it away, and it's Cancelo. Vinicius Junior. And now the breakaway. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Mbappe. And Dyke gets rid without sophistication. And they're back on the ball again. Mbappe! And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. How's the first half compared with your expectations? A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break.
the second half gets underway. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Perisic. Jose. Vinicius Junior. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Looking to break out here. Oh, that's a real chance! They've done it! And there it is, his tenth goal, his first mini milestone. And a trademark move ends with the inevitable classy finish. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. He's played it too, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Throw it. Been cut out, well played. Tony Cross. Now it's Benzema. Davis. Some resolute defending there. Now it's Luke de Jong. Reds one in. Collier. And he's lost his corner! One sweeping move, executed with deadly efficiency. Just when they thought they may be in at one end, they end up shipping a goal at the other, and it's all due to wonderful counter-attacking. They hardly had time to even react, and there's only one word to describe that, clinical. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch, and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. Reply. This is becoming a stroll. This is promising. A sharp little ball here. Cross is blocked, and that's a corner. Well Defending of the desperate variety. And now a sudden jump. And the Logan has a go. And oh, that like has forced the very best out of the keeper. Well, talking about playing into your opponent's hands, that kind of thing is not going to get And he's done very well to deal with it. Well, the defence are in a good position to get behind the ball and, and let them just try from range. So the ball needed to be better there, so a wasted chance. Belt one. Super is right behind it. A oh, terrible mistake. Like Haaland! Oh, the ball's run loose here. And the follow up. He's the attempt, but not quite good enough. Heritage. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He's got the shot away! And that is the last effort of the game. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Collar. He turned up today for sure. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed him to dictate with comfort. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin along